about making deposits rather than withdrawals, let's think about a bank account. Tune in, because what the hell is she talking about? Thinking about a bank account, oh, with millions. <laughs> I'm talking about our health, right? So start thinking like a bank account when it comes to making more deposits than withdrawals in terms of your health and fitness. Deposits are workout, drinking water and staying hydrated, walk, eat, nutritious foods, try to limit the processed foods, sleep more, manage stress, self-care and self-compassion. And also I would add in there something around mental stimulation. Withdrawals, high stress, burnout, all-nighters, not getting your sleep in, not drinking enough water, overconsumption of alcohol, too much screen time, poor quality food and junk food. Money isn't the only way to invest. And that's why we're gonna to come to the point of bank account. When it comes to our relationships, our health, our careers, and our personal development, we're all constantly making withdrawals or depositing, whatever it is in life, okay? And every time we take a shortcut, make an excuse, procrastinate, get lazy, we're making a withdrawal from our lives. On the other hand, every time we push ourselves, now, when I say push ourselves, don't push yourself to burn out. I'm talking about not being lazy. I'm talking about making the right choices. Take, to take action, doing the hard thing or make a sacrifice or achieving, working towards a goal, we're actually making a deposit. If you want to be successful, you need to make more deposits than withdrawals. Have you ever thought to do an assessment in terms of looking at your day to day, um, getting honest with yourself, which can be tough, but it's worth it. You might be living on autopilot mode and that's why I did that video. I'll also link it below. I'm gonna link below um, autopilot, the autopilot video, which is like running on a hamster wheel and it's also, I'm, I'm going to link the burnout video as well. Okay. But you can find them just in case. When you're living on autopilot mode, you don't realize what you're doing and you don't realize where you're actually making withdrawals or depositing. You think you've got it in balance, but you don't. So asking yourself is really important. Start shallow, right? So what you can do is start shallow, but then you can go deeper. Then make changes needed for growth. Take small steps. Taking large steps can overwhelm you. And then you probably will be like, I'm gonna do this. And then in a couple of days, you're like, I can't handle this with everything else going on. It's very stressful to even think of that. Put it aside a moment. So, you know, making the changes needed for growth, health and your happiness. Taking the small steps. What does your day look like? That's why I, that's why I mentioned look at your day, look at your week. How many hours are you spending sitting down and doing nothing? What's taking up your time and energy? Are you drinking alcohol too frequently and is that getting out of hand because you know it's become a habit? Um, are you, and if you are drinking alcohol, more and more and more, why? Are you numbing something? Is there something that is not balanced in your life? It could even be sleep. And so getting more sleep gives you a mental boost, which then maybe you might decide to limit the alcohol. What type of people are you surrounding yourself with? In my videos, I mentioned about supportive environments connecting to others. How many hours are you mindlessly scoring on your phone? 
are you focusing on quality food to put in your body where you can make those choices or even prep so that you make better choices when you're running around like a hamster maybe at work um Ask yourself these questions that I've just mentioned, and I'm just going to say them again because I think I was a bit quick. Starting shallow, small steps, all right? What does your day-to-day -day look like? What's taking up your time of energy? Are you sitting hours and hours on end just really not doing anything? Um, how much sleep are you actually getting? Is your alcohol becoming out of balance and why? Are you focusing on quality food and trying to avoid as much as you can process and junk foods? Are you making the right decision around that? Is there something triggers you that makes you reach for certain foods? Are you surrounding yourself with the right people, the right environments? Are you in supported, connected environment? Um, push yourself to do hard things, take initiative and make sacrifices for something that you see really worth it. Again, not burning yourself out. Just ask yourself these questions. By maintaining a healthy lifestyle and mindset, you're investing in the long-term well-being. And that's where we say we're opening a savings account. So everyone, I hope this was helpful. Maybe a little bit of a light bulb moment and um cheers to us putting more and more in our savings account together if you like this video if it was helpful i've given you some of my key coaching tips there um let me know subscribe to the channel let me know what content you want to see if you want to work with me on any of your life goals or want to know more about my services i discuss this discuss them in a lot of the videos they're listed on my website you can check out my website. You can also email me and just say, hey, I'm a subscriber or I saw this video. I'd like to know if you can help me on this and how we can work around it. So um, that is my two cents on um, bank accounts. And I never knew that I was a chief financial officer, but apparently I am in the fitness mindset and soul um, and physical body. So I think you've got some credible, credible information there. Let me know how it goes. Take care of yourselves.